carbon fiber is an excellent material for high performance bicycles. It has great strength to weight ratio um, and really allows enormous freedom in terms of designing. Uh, with, with normal metals, you have to take tubes, weld them together, and the bike is going to look like a traditional tube framed bike. Um, with carbon fiber, we get a lot more freedom because we can mold it. Um, it relieves stress rises at the, at the tube, ju tube junctions, um, and that also allows us a lot more freedom in terms of the tube shapes. It allows us to make aerodynamic bikes like the AR and the DA, and it allows us some more stylish bikes like the Z. By putting fibers that allow more compliance in certain areas of the frame, we can allow better ride compliance into the bike. Uh, that means that although we're, as I say, we're aiming for a frame that has great stiffness and keeps the wheels in plane, uh, it can still allow the bike to absorb trail vibrations so that you're not going to get so fatigued from the road. And the correct balance between stiffness, strength, durability, um, there's elements of science, art, engineering and experience that go into, into really developing a bike that delivers to the maximum on all, these, all, all those different facets of a bike design. Um, from the engineering point of view, we'll, we'll analyze the way the carbon fiber is going to work with our CAD software and using finite element analysis. And that'll bring us a good distance of the way along developing a bike. Um, we'll then make our first prototypes and that will reveal how close we got on our first guess. Really the engineering is going to get us a best first guess. And at that point we have to ride the bikes, put some miles in, into our athletes and make adjustments. Uh, and that's really where the art side and the experience of being able to listen to those athletes and use their experience to deliver a better bike really comes into play. Carbon fibers, like most materials, can really be described quite well by talking about their strength and their modulus. Those are two different aspects of the physical properties of the bike. Strength is, the ultimate tensile strength of a fiber is if you get the fiber and you, you pull on it, when it breaks, that's the ultimate strength that it can bear before it fails. Um, the ultimate modulus, on the other hand, is, is really the stiffness. So if you pull on a fiber, even a, even a carbon fiber will stretch. Any fiber will stretch. Um, the amount that it stretches for, an, for a given amount of force is the stiffness, and that's referred to as the modulus. In carbon fibers, we talk about the modulus referring to the fibers that are inside the carbon fiber, not actually for a piece of bar stock of carbon fiber, because really such a thing doesn't exist. And once you've molded it into a shape, uh, those bar stock shapes that people used to talk about with metals become slightly irrelevant. For 2011, we're making bikes using three different grades of UHC carbon composite. UHC Performance, UHC Advanced, and UHC Ultimate plus Nano. UHC Ultra Hybrid Carbon, which was previously reserved for only the top of the line high performance racing bikes, is now used across the entire felt bicycles line. UHC really means it's a hybrid. We use the stiffer materials where they're needed, we use the high modulus materials where they're needed, we use the high strength materials where they're needed to give the best ride that's available and the strength and the stiffness where they're needed in the bikes. Really gives us an absolute premium product. UHC Performance uh, brings the UHC Ultra Hybrid Carbon technology uh, to even our entry level carbon fiber bikes. Um, this allows really unrivaled ride tuning unrival strength, stiffness, and durability uh, in our felt bikes. The UHC Advanced Blend offers increased weight savings over the UHC Performance and still gives that unrivaled ride quality, uh, strength, stiffness, and durability that felt bicycles are known to deliver. With the UHC Ultimate Plus Nano Blend, we really pull out all the stops. It's no expense spared. We add nanoparticles to this ultimate mix of carbon fibers. The nanoparticles sit within the resin matrix and they tie together the carbon fiber strands. Um, by tying them together, we get increased stiffness, we get increased durability, increased crash protection, um, and again, that ultimate lightweight. Uh, carbon fiber happens to be one of the best materials for bicycles, especially with technology coming around like it has. For years, carbon's been in the industry, but um, at limited levels because of the, the price and the cost to develop it and make molds and so on and so forth. But as this technology continues to uh, increase in volume, we're able to bring these technologies down to the lower levels where it's more accessible by everybody in the industry. Um, one of the things that makes carbon so great is that it's really its stiffness to weight and its ability to handle uh, fatigue resistance, impact resistance, and give a bike that's really light and lively. It kind of takes all the best qualities of the materials you might be familiar with in the past, such as steel, aluminum, titanium, and kind of tile it all together and lets the uh, engineers really take advantage of this material to make a uh, fantastic bike that really gives you all the qualities you're looking for. Stiffness, strength, ride quality, lightweight.